because I'm trying these new earplugs. Um, I've had earplugs in my ears while I'm riding before. When I say that they take the noise out, man, I mean that shit. Like, brother can barely hear shit. When I hear my engine, hear traffic. But I must say, it definitely cancels out a lot of the highway wind noise issues. Like you can still hear. I can definitely hear myself talking and all that, but like. Definitely different though. Uh, Psycho Cruiser, I was on his channel. He's the one who recommended these things. Um, I just gotta look them up again. I think it was. Um, no, I'm not gonna lie. I, like, I remember what they are. I just ordered them off Amazon. They were like $26. Um, they're like memory foam type of earplugs. Um, they came like 200 in a pack um, for like $26. Um, I definitely think they're worth it because when I say like the noise level, the decibel level is definitely like down. You know, the wind is not buffeting my ears like they used to. So, um, you know, I think it's kind of good. It's probably going to save on my hearing <laughs> as I'm riding. Um, definitely want to clean your ears out before you throw those up in there. You might come up with a <laughs> unwelcome reminder. To put some uh, Q-tips in there, because uh, when I say that they conform to the ear, I mean it. So well, there ain't no shame in my game. When I first put them in there, I was like, "Ooh, a little wax came out." I wasn't feeling that. So you know, you definitely want to make sure your ears are fresh before you throw them bad boys up in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just coming from Applebee's. Uh, we went played uh, some trivia. Um, this little social group I'm um, with um, out in Orange, uh, Connecticut. It's not too far from Bridgeport. Um, I'm trying to meet people in the area, you know, set up little social connections. Also trying to, you know, set up working type of connections. So we'll see how that plays out. They waiting and shit. Trying to catch motherfuckers. That's 
Holt. So. Definitely the wind now that I'm on the highway I-95. Definitely feel the wind buffeting my helmet, buffeting kind of my jacket. So, you know, think about it. I was taking all of those decibels of wind speed or wind noise into my ears, even with a full face helmet on. So now, you know, I can definitely see how these, uh, these earbuds are definitely helping. I mean, I would say the slight, the, neg the slight negative side is you know not necessarily hearing as well the cars right next to you um you can hear them but I, I think the feeling of kind of vulnerability becomes less because you don't feel like something's on you or like breathing on you kind of like, oh they're right next to me let me kind of back off because you can barely hear them as much you know I think the buffeting still helps because then I can still feel that I'm out in the elements. But I think you can, it's hard to hear that you're out in the elements as much. So, you know, but again, when you ride, you definitely have to be more alert anyway. So your eyes are kind of moving every which way, making sure that you're in the right positions, things like that. Um, I'm not one of these crazy riders trying to stick between lanes and do all this craziness. You know, I'm just trying to ride safe get from point A to point B, you know, and right now there's no traffic, so there's no reason why I should be like zooming in and out and all that shit, you know what I mean, so, um, it's all about riding safe, kind of getting from point A to point B, and my main reason of taking up riding is save on gas and to park wherever the hell I want to park, those are the main things, not really to necessarily lean split, like that wasn't, you know, I, I think, I thought that's really what I solely wanted to do. So I actually did it. <laughs> then I'm like, yeah, I'm not ready for that yet. So, um, you know, it definitely takes more coordination and things like that to be able to kind of weave your way through uh, traffic um, to ensure that you're still safe when you're doing it. Um, because it's just definitely hard to try to anticipate what drivers are doing. Also dealing with drivers who are kind of mad that you're doing it things like that so right now you know that's definitely kind of like on the last of my list of major things to do as I ride um, because it is inherently to a degree harder to do than just regular riding um, adds another dimension to riding that I don't necessarily think I'm ready for yet but I think I eventually will be ready because in some cases it is safer um, I've already been rear-ended so I was in rear-ended at a stoplight. So I feel like for me, filtering, um, which is slightly different from lane splitting, filtering I definitely think is something I'm definitely gonna take up because even though it's illegal here in the Northeast, you know, it's, it's I'd rather be illegal and alive than legal and dead. So, you know, the fact that I got rear-ended at a regular stoplight, minding my business, homegirl was not paying attention messing with her phone or drinking her coffee whatever the hell she was doing and just boom I just get smacked you know she wasn't going overly fast I didn't get like fall off the bike or anything like that but it was like whoa like are you serious so you know she got off she apologized there was no real damage to my bike at all there was a slight scrape on my top box which is kind of interesting I had a top box which kind of sticks out so it actually allows for more space actually between the bike and whatever is behind me, so that's kind of good. Well, I'm glad I had that big old top box, that would have been more of my bike getting hit versus the box itself. So there's a slight scratch on the box. There's also a, a slight chip on the little plastic tail, something, something. It's just like a little black plastic piece. It's not at all on the bike itself. So 
you know, I wasn't really, you know, trying to get her for money and all that. I was just like, you know what, pay attention, ma'am, because, you know, you're in a car and I'm on this, you know what I'm saying? So, I think she got the hint of, like, she needs to pay more attention when she's driving. Um, but there's no reason to just hit somebody at a stoplight. Come on, open your eyes. Um, so, yeah. Um, definitely enjoying my riding. It's fun to do, I think. As long as I'm safe doing it. All will be good. <laughs> yeah, I'm back home. Almost there. Probably be off the highway in about the next five, probably even less than that, three minutes. Um, ready to get to bed, I'm a little tired. Start the day tomorrow. Just vanished him. 